What's up, Ada Gang, Cardano fam? Let's go over some exciting updates with Cardano and some spicy stuff. Retweets by Charles Hoskinson. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Nice to see a good bounce back uh, following the Jerome Powell stuff and the bearishness. I don't think we're out of the bearishness just yet. The FUD wars have just begun post having, as I predicted. So I don't think that we're out of it. I think it's going to be a sideways bearish summer. But let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to be looking at scooping up more ADA if it gets in that Black Friday sale price, which is like 25 cent to 40 cent. But it hasn't gone below like 41, 42. It's bounced back up. Back to Cardano. Links to everything's in the description. Smash the sub, smash the like. Let's go. Decentralization can only be measured by taking into account multiple different layers of a blockchain system. I'm very happy to share that we just released the alpha version of the tokenomics layer of EDI. The tokenomics layer comes with a number of clustering tools that are applied to make the results more meaningful. Moreover, we will soon add more on-chain heuristics that cluster UTXOs from the same wallet together, useful for Bitcoin type ledgers. The EDI aims to measure the decentralization of blockchain systems in a first principles manner. Currently, we have alpha releases of consensus and tokenomics, but there's more to come. Now, taking a look at this, um, a detailed look, we can see Nakamoto coefficient. We can see that this is, in a nutshell, important for decentralization, seeing a visual. So we're seeing this uh, EDI, the Edinburgh Decentralization Index. So what is this? Well, this is important for decentralization. Who owns it all? Is it all in one hand or is it spread out? And this light blue that we see, guys, let's get a nice zoom in of this, shall we? Let's get a nice little zoom in. Let's get a little zoom in action. Perfect. So the Nakamoto coefficient represents the number of entities that collectively control more than 50% of the resources. In this case, the majority of circulating tokens at a given point in time. Now, we got Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, and Tezos. Why is Tezos on there? Who the hell cares about Tezos? Uh, Cardano, we can see that coming down all the way down here. And so in my eyes, the way I look at this, the minimum number of entities that con collectively control, we can see that this number has been going up for Bitcoin, right? The number of entities that control more than 50%, but the number has been going down for projects like Cardano, like this is positive in my eyes because you see Dogecoin too, right? Dogecoin coming down, which makes sense. More people own Dogecoin. Cardano also, the spread is increasing. More users. We want users to be empowered. We don't want a single central authority to have all of it, right? Which is that issue, the ebb and flow with some of the projects that end up having uh, tons hoarded by one entity, right? Uh, I know the U.S. Treasury loves to scoop up more and more Bitcoin. So it's this give and take. It's a problem. But in my eyes, this is this is good. It's nice to see that Cardano. We see that line. Now, I don't know why it started up like this. It's a little bit confusing seeing this. But let's dive into the comments there to see a little bit of uh, what's going on. So the EDI now has a tokenomics dashboard. Cardano is not winning all the metrics. Wasn't this open source public data approach supposed to be super biased? Can the devs do something? Um, and it says that's only if you filter for top 100 slash 1000 accounts. If you remove all the filters and look at whole token supply, this is the chart. Interesting. Well, I mean, this is kind of confusing to me too. I mean, do you guys, can you guys make sense of this? <laughs> yeah, I agree with this. ELI5, what happened in 2021? ELI5, you know? One of the comments says, basically, Doge is king, it would seem. I would take this with a grain of salt, but if I would, if I look at Doge... And the do and Doge, I see that Doge is is a very low line like that, with uh, indicated by the the red, right? Red being very low like this. The minimum number of entities that collectively control more than fifty percent of the resource. In this case, 
the majority of circulating tokens at a given point in time. Well, the minimum number of entities. So if that's the case, yeah, you could see it in either direction. You could see it as like there's less minimum entities, there's more minimum entities uh, that collectively control more than... So, I mean, you could see it good or bad on either side. What do you guys think about this metric? Is it, uh, is it kind of confusing? Is it like, you know, haters can now, now can agree with this metric. It's a weird metric to me. Let's see what the comments are saying to this post right here. Um, for Nakamoto, why is Cardano so low and close to Doge? They're clearly on opposite sides of the spectrum. So we can see here, this is nice to see this. Dogecoin holders statistics. Uh, almost 7 million holders, top 10 holders, 45%, top 20 holders, 51%. Let's take a look at Cardano. So we can compare a contrast. So Cardano may net uh, 3.6 million holders almost, top 10 holders, 8.9%. We can see there 45% for the top 10 holders. This is looking good. So I would take this with a grain of salt. Let me know what you guys think about this, this, um, EDI, but I like to see these numbers like this, right? Top 100 holders, 65% of people, 21%. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things I think that in my eyes, it's it can get a little bit nuanced, but as long as we're increasing in holders and active wallets, I think that that's a good thing. But let me know what you guys think about the holder statistics and this EDI. What do you take of it? This is really important, this one. Um, this is what we're here for, the spiciness. Charles Hoskinson, Bitcoiners, why is Charles attacking Bitcoin? All coiners are so toxic. I was in an XRP space last night and this guy had the audacity to say that when Charles joins the XRP space, we should have kicked him because he's just taking liquidity from us. I was like, I was like, you're being so negative. You're not viewing it as like, He's also joining your space and bringing his followers to you. This toxicity, nonsense, BS needs to stop. And it's so childish. Bitcoin maxis. Literally everything but Bitcoin is illegal and a scam. Yeah. So this is a clip, guys, that's getting popular today. Of Michael Saylor basically saying everything but Bitcoin is a scam. It will be a security. Let's check it out. Going to be approved. And when Ethereum is not going to be approved, sometime this summer it'll be very clear to everyone that Ethereum is deemed a crypto asset security, not a commodity. After that, you're gonna see that Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Ripple, Cardano, everything down the stack is just a crypto asset security unregistered. None of them will ever be wrapped by a spot ETF None of them will be accepted by Wall Street. None of them will be accepted by mainstream institutional investors as crypto assets. This is the one universal consensus accepted institutional grade crypto asset in the world. There won't be another one going to be approved. So guys, uh, I talked about this with XRP, but now in the context for Cardano, same thing. We see now that Swiss ETP launched to take advantage of liquid staking and depreciating asset. We see how the CFTC has been green lighting other projects other than Bitcoin. Gary Gensler is not going to go to war with the CFTC now that his reputation has been so degraded and everyone inside and outside the government despise him. So we have to go with what's probable, not possible. Is it possible that everything other than Bitcoin will be deemed a security? Sure, but it's not probable. Because guys, when I, when I evaluate the market and I see that Ripple is not being deemed a security in July of last year and Ripple decides to launch a stable coin on XRPL and Ethereum, they're green lighting Ethereum, and the project they partnered with launched Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs, there's so much commingling in this space. The TLDR, guys, is that I have a spicy take. I believe that Ethereum, BNB, Solana, Ripple, XRP, Cardano and many other projects will have spot ETFs. I don't buy this nonsense orange man BS. I like Bitcoin a lot. I have a few ASIC miners. I like, I love Bitcoin. I think it's classic, but I also have a love and appreciation for the rest of the projects, especially Cardano. Um, one of the projects that I really love, and that's like my number one, if not number two holding. 
but I hold all these other projects too. Currently not BNB because I was liquidating a bunch back when cake was pumping and dumping, but I think all of them have a use case. There's a symbiotic relationship between them all. So what I would take away from this is fear not. I believe that Cardano is going to have a, a late bloomer. It has its brand intimacy. It has a strong community. People keep talking about it, which is good. I'd be concerned if they didn't talk about it. And so the fact that it's part of even his language of the tens of thousands of cryptocurrencies is good. Keep talking about it, Michael. Michael Saylor, keep promoting Cardano. Thanks, bro. Thank you for your service. So Orange Man can continue to keep putting orange things up. Orange things. Um, <laughs> it's a telegram move for the different things that I would say. But when it comes to Cardano, I'm optimistic, guys. I'm watching the market right now. I think the global crypto market is headed for sideways slash bearishness before we get the trebuchet to launch, before the catapult launches. And the reason why is that I predict this weeks before. I said, guys, if you remember, that post having will have a lot of FUD. We're seeing this on the daily from all dimensions. And let's zoom out and look at your tra trajectory. We see how coincidentally they charge Roger Ver post having. Coincidentally, they charge CZ post having. All this fun, post having, right after Asia ETFs, right after BlackRock ETF and all that stuff, right? So there's Ethereum ETFs, BlackRock doesn't miss, okay? It's not Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw line. BlackRock does not miss. They have a high percentage of getting their stuff approved. So their Ethereum stuff's gonna go through, which will contrast with what this guy just said. I'd rather tr t uh, trust Judge Torres and the CFTC and this narrative rather than Mr. Orange Man. So does he say good stuff? Yes, but this is just nonsense, guys. We have to be honest, right? We have to be honest. And even this, you see Moon Lambo, like he's XRP, I got respect for him, but even he's saying, yes, maximalism of any coin is toxic and harmful to the entire crypto space. It's also intellectually dishonest in most cases, I suspect. Does Sailor really believe what he's saying or is he just saying it because he has just about the heaviest Bitcoin bag in history? And that's the thing, guys, his... He has the rose lens on. All he's been buying is Bitcoin. Heck, he doesn't even eat food anymore, probably. He just buys Bitcoin. He's going to liquid. You know what? Liquidate that suit, too, while you're at it. Liquidate that suit, too, and, and add more to your Bitcoin bag. Tiring. See, these are XRP guys. Like Moon Lambo and Vet are, are XRP guys, but they're more um, civil and they have decorum. If mental gymnastics were an Olympic sport, these MFers would win gold medals. Yeah, that's that's facts, bro. Yeah, so I like Bitcoin. Let's stop this villain arc BS, okay, guys? It's going to be a world that's interconnected, omni-chain, and there's going to be ETFs of all different types and bundles. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Often, nonfiction is simple. Often, the truth is very simple. It's right in front of our eyes. So what do you guys think about the future for Cardano? Are you optimistic like me? Do you think it's going to pump and rip and melt faces? Or do you think it's a shy coin? Let me know why. I like to see the thesis, the reason for your arguments. Let me know in the comment section below. Smash that like, smash that subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Ang Crypto Show.